In this video, I'll show you how to use Excel to find the Poisson distribution. So here's our example from the lecture that states the arrivals to a bank ATM are distributed according to a Poisson distribution with a mean equal to three customers per 15 minutes. So we wanna make sure we understand all the components in the story so we can put the right information into our formulas. So we know that our segment unit is every 15 minutes and that within a single segment, we have a mean or average of three customers arriving. So in our first scenario, we're going to solve for one customer arriving in a given 15 minute segment. So we wanna make sure we understand the probability. We're looking for exactly one customer arriving. So that's the probability that X equals one. We also need to make sure we remember that is in Excel, when it asks for the mean that will go into our formula, that is our lambda times t. So you need to identify the lambda, which was given to us in the story, and our t, which is how many segments we're examining. So in this scenario, we are examining only one 15-minute segment. So I'll go ahead and use this formula for an exact value of equals Poisson. And again, Excel uh, pre-populates it, so you can just double click on that or continue to type it out. And so we'll type in our x of one, our mean was our lambda of three times our one segment. So three times one is three. Put in a comma and we'll type in false because we are looking for the exact value. And again, down here below, I put a little uh, rule of thumb reminder of when to use uh, cumulative or not cumulative and how. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. And so the probability that uh, exactly one customer comes in a given 15 minute segment is 0 0.1494. In our second scenario, what we're interested in is fewer than four customers arriving in a 30 minute segment. So first we wanna write the probability of what does it mean when it says fewer than four customers. So here, fewer than four customers is the same as saying the probability that X is less than or equal to three because fewer than four does not include four. And so I'm gonna write X is less than or equal to three, meaning I have three, two, one, or zero customers coming um, to our ATM. We'll go ahead and use this formula right here. It is for our cumulative, we're reading from left to right uh, of zero up to three customers coming. So I'll type in equals Poisson. Uh, I can double click so it finishes typing my function for me. Uh, my x is three. Remember, this is my x that I set up right here in my probability, because I want the probability of three or less. My mean, so in this instance, the mean for this scenario, our lambda is three, but our t, the number of segments, we will look here. Since this is a 30 minute segment, we know we are working with two segments because uh, in our story we're given that a single segment is worth 15 minutes. So 30 minutes divided by 15 minutes gives me two segments that I'm working with. So our lambda of three times our two segments gives us six. We'll do comma because I'm looking for the cumulative probability between zero and three customers. I type in true, close my parentheses, and hit enter. So the probability of fewer than four customers arriving in a 30 minute segment is 0 0.1512. In our lecture, uh, we stop there, but I wanna show one more example. In this case, what if we want four or more customers? And we're still gonna use that 30 minute segment. So when we say four or more customers, that means our probability statement is X is greater or equal to four, because that includes four, five, six, and can go on forever. Again, when we're looking at uh, some number or greater, we're going to rely on our complement rule to find the probability. So I'm gonna type in equals one minus the Poisson distribution and because I want four or more, that means I don't want three or less. So I'm gonna type in three, put in my comma. My mean is our lambda t, so the lambda was three, and our t was our two segments because 15 minutes goes into 30 minutes twice. So I type in six, put my comma, 
We'll use true because it is cumulative. And then go ahead and hit enter. And so the probability that I have four or more customers arriving in a 30 minute segment is 0 0.8488. So if you have any questions, just let me know.